<laughs> after we go to catch them. G'day guys, well today is day one and uh, we're at a caravan park and we're set up to have a, uh, six days of fishing. Our plan is to catch a snapper and uh, rev everyone up for snapper season. It's early August, start of August, so there's a big chance we won't get anything. We're raring to go today. Day one is a write off because the wind is blowing. All right, so we'll do a bit of a tour of the campsite. This is where I'm staying. This is the view we got. It's just wild, I love, love this place. Zach's got a little tent pitched here. And we just, yep, he's out of the wind there. We've got the Coronel up here. And you get, they even get kingfish, small kingfish in the summer. And uh, a few other different fish. You get whiting, you get the odd snapper. Um, it's a good little pier. Yakkers. And the boat ramp's just over here. It's got four lanes. Really good boat ramp. And you've got your car park up here on the hill. So we've got young Zaki up there. He's just getting the boat ready. The weather doesn't look great, but that's all right. We've got our rain jackets. Got to fix that when I come in. And uh, tonight, the tide will be right up. So you can really see how much tidal movement there is in Western Port. Pretty cool, I reckon. Just the amount of volume of water that pushes through every day to the oceans just out there. So you never really know what you're gonna catch on any given day. That's what makes it a special place. We're in a bit of a rush because we wanna catch the last bit of that tide. boys we're rushing because the rain's coming because we're on the last bit of the tide and I just feel like if we're gonna get one it'll be now tides hooking yeah. we yank it yep I know I waff waffle about this but it's really important to get your hook presentation right you got to think about things like Okay, it's not spinning, but how is that bait gonna present after being down in the current for 20 minutes? Like, let's pop him out. Not far. I reckon it might take off. Hopefully it takes off. Oh, yeah, one. Get the rain. I reckon we let go hundreds of these small gummies, but today we want to feed. Look at that body. I don't know what I've hooked. Oh. Something we don't want. That's why this... Uh. Might be time to move, Zacchirelli. Yeah. Oh. off the bank before the current pushes us. I hit the bottom here, right like where it says it's plenty deep enough. And now my moto is not pumping water and the overheating alarms keeps going off. So we've got to go in because I don't want to keep going and overheat my engine. trip might be over if I can't fix this motor. Ready? The engine's got to cool back down. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a miracle if we can get a fish today. So uh, Also, I've got to fix the rollers before I put the boat back on because it's scratching the hull. So, we are up against it today. I'm going to have to drill this out. <sighs> Man. I'm gonna have to drill that out too. I wonder if I can... Oh, 
man. Ah, this, this snapped off. Man, man, the roller's still out. So Mark's gonna bring the hose down and we're gonna try and flush the, flush the engine out. What a legend. To stay in the boat, Zach. This thing. Yeah? I'm recording now. I've got, got bogged out here. Yeah. We've gone out to get him, we got bogged. Really? Dogs have come out to get us. <laughs> we nearly got bogged. But the, the um, yeah, grab the earmuffs, Zach, please. The earmuffs? Yeah. Them. I think you can put it, yeah. This thing comes out. But there's a there's a pee hole there, but we might just put some Yeah, see look at all the sand. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. Every task before us is a challenge awaiting triumph. Let's rise, commit and conquer. The power lies in our hands. As the days are getting longer and the tides are getting bigger, a subtle but determined presence begins to emerge like a quiet trickle that steadily gains momentum. Well, there is and pick up on this scent. Morning, boys. Well, We've had a bit of a sleep in this morning because we learned a bit yesterday. We didn't catch much in the morning and we had a bit of a bite yesterday afternoon on the on the small gummy. Bacon and eggs overlooking the water here. Uh, it's a beautiful place, have a look. This, this, this boat's out, the car park is full and everybody's just got spring on the mind. About 6 a.m. and we've got to run out tired this morning, the last four hours of the run out, so I think we're going to get going early. There's a lot of little salmon. Zach will put down the ting and oster with this burly pot and uh, we'll catch fresh bait as we fish. Last year, the biggest snapper I got was on a little salmon chunk. So, just wanna get fresh bait. Don't stress too much because you can get it out of here. And we're gonna put a burly log in and just drop it straight down. Zach will have the ting and oster. And it works. Why do we have the ting and oster? If you, as you can see, the water's really dirty. Put the burly pot up here so that it creates a bit of a burly trail just near his rig. And he should catch, if, if the salmon are here, he should catch the salmon after salmon. Bring it up. Now, if you see the burly pot, you'd see those little bits of um, food, bits of burly coming out. That's not going to feed a snapper. And that's exactly what we want. 
And we'll just put that just off the bottom. A key thing with Burley this time of year when the water temperature is low is I don't want to put any actual food in the water for them because a snapper might only feed once a day. So all I want to do is with a Burley pot, I can actually attract them, but they're not actually getting a feed from my Burley. So, so that's why we, we don't want to throw actual pilchards out. And, I, and that also apply that over in Port Phillip Bay early season too. You watch how easy I get one. Use just as much bait preparation with your whiting, with your small hook. Got him. Is it a good one? Yeah. Good sound. So it's done, boys. Is that right. a sound, bud? Oh! This is why the flash is important, because you just you just bob it up and down, grabs their attention in the dirty water, and then I've got another one. Because they're you got to remember, they're a pelagic fish. And um, so just bobbing your sinker up and down probably entices them a lot more to hit. Hey, I'm on. I'm on a snapper. Oh. Move. Move, man. Get out of the way. Turn him off. I've been so excited that it was a snapper. I just, <laughs> I just threw the rod out of the way. This is why I fish with kids, because I would never be here. What is it, a schoolie? They drive you to do things you normally wouldn't do. Is it? Yeah. I'm real disappointed with that, eh? He's, he's not bad for up he's here. He's good. All right. So we're just gonna bleed the gummy. Just here, there's a hard bit and you feel around just up from it. Just get your knife, run it down there, and you'll see it bleeding out good. And keep the water running through it, and just keep push, pushing it. Yeah, we don't throw the guts or the butt in the water because it brings in gillers, and I don't know, but I reckon it scares the other gummies. With what, a freeze bullet? That's, I reckon we're going to get a lot of these. Got him? I think you got him. Oh yeah, you got him. That's good there, that way, eh? Yeah. It's cool, eh? That's sick. Ooh! Might be a bit better. Ooh! Ooh. We're on, boys! Yeah! It ran at the start. Yeah. Fuck. You should have been out. I know. I'm just excited. I can feel it on the other line. Get the net ready. The new jimmies. New jimmies. But I'm glad we've come up. Look at how blue he is. Yeah. Beautiful. I don't know. We just keep catching these 46 centimetres size today. <laughs> Even don't want it, so let's see that. Good fish. Oh, he's back the other way. <laughs> it's just a great I reckon it's an eagle. You reckon? I reckon it's an eagle. Yeah, it's an eagle. Give me the... Give me the... See ya, easy. How good are the conditions? Beautiful. We're just out here in uh, beautiful Western Port. It's a snapper. Down, it's a good one. Calm down, bro. I'm calm, brother. Get, he's only a panty. Stop. It's a better fish. Yeah, get the net. Bring him up here. And it went quiet for 20 minutes. And we've shot up the channel. 
and straight away we've got this fish. Probably time to pull the pin. We're going across the mud flats. few fishermen here they're having a drink oh i don't drink so <laughs> there's a milky way up there keeps going in and out of focus yeah. very exciting beautiful winter's day warm i think it's going to be 18 degrees today tide's running in now i'm not i'm not sure and to be honest with you, I don't care. We're going to go anyway. The smell of tea tree blossom is in the air. And guess what has arrived? Melbourne's favourite fish, the Australian snapper. So guys, I was just getting a couple of taps. There we go. Brett just made a move down and we've got one. Just buckled over. Step back, you have to lead us, step back. Yeah, it's gonna go again, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it wants to run. When he comes, you step backwards, and I'll net him, I'll come in. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna pull him straight in. No, I can't. No, There you go boys, this is what it's all about. Zachy's worked real hard for that. It's not the monster we want. He'll do. He'll do for now anyway. <laughs> it's only August. Talk us through, what bait did he take? And what? Squid ring on a pair of three O's. So that's why I always use three O's. Because I don't see the downside to it. I've never lost a fish. Um, and you get the little fish. What, you use them in uh, season two? In Port Phillip, everything. Right. My biggest fish was on three O's. My biggest is on four O's. All right, good job. Call it. I'm calling it there. I'm calling it good layer, Bob. Ooh, they're my favorite, folks. Here, I'll grab it for the camera. <laughs> They get rid of the flares. <laughs> he's angry with that. Hammer, huh? So he's been up, he's like a big vacuum cleaner, old mate. He's been up there <laughs> hoovering on the in the shallows, hasn't he? Yeah, well, look. look at him. He's a hoover. He's a hoover. Look at that. Heaps. Heaps. And he still ate our bait. Yeah. Down here at the ramp, gonna clean this lovely snapper. Got the ocean accessories um, scaler, and we're just gonna show you how it's done. Just grab the tail firmly on a wet surface. Just get into it, really. You can't really be gentle with the scalers. You gotta just please don't miss any places under the tail. Gotta make sure you're getting all the spots under his gills. Sick to death of him. I know you don't walk him, but in the rest of Do you want me to keep you one if I get one? If you get a bit one, keep one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I should get another one. I've caught about a million. <laughs> yeah. He's unwrapped himself. How are you, mate? That was on the... Uh... Look, you wrapped up there. Beautiful squid ring. Favourite bait. That's my favourite bait. So I'm going to put this rod out that corner. I'm going to put it... Long, 
experience, what I've experienced in shallow water, the snapper will just take it everywhere. They'll just run all around. So I just try and stagger the baits um, for that reason. Right out there. Turn the motor this way, that way. The boat will yaw against the wind a little bit. It'll just help to bring it around. And now, all we do is wait. And we'll be doing a bit of waiting this month because it's early season. Hopefully this isn't it. I don't mind seeing an eagle ray today. I haven't seen one for a while. Normally when you start catching the old eagles, the old snappers are not far behind. Like coming into bays and stuff. A bit of a workout this morning on the eagles. Mr. Eagle. Maybe it's not an eagle. There we go. 14 of these suckers in the last 24 hours. A couple were decent. Do you hear that, boys? That's why I love this place. Absolute silence. You can't hear cars, you can't hear boats, you can't hear nothing, and it's just... Well, you can hear my phone getting a message. One thing I notice every year is when the snapper come in the bay, they're always really lean, like they haven't had much food. So, I know it's good to have bait, good bait quality, but you can't always get time to go out and catch bait and uh, I reckon they're pretty hungry I reckon it's like a jungle out there for them and as long as it's not rotten I reckon you're half a chance it's not I don't like recommend going out and using shit bait but don't let the bait turn you off they're not if they're up here feeding just having a you know, that's why so many people catch them on servo baits because they've probably had a hard winter's grind wherever they've come from, they're out in the oceans or whatever, and the fish are always lean. I mean, I've caught lots of big fish early season, but they never crack the 20 because the fish is, it's a lean fish, and if I caught that same fish um, at the end of the season, that would be easy 20 pound. But it's, that's just my thinking out loud. Like it's obviously good to have quality baits, but don't let quality baits stop you from not going fishing. It's a f***ing ripper. I am shaking. I'm absolutely shaking. Hundred per Monster, it's a snapper. Oh, Just done. 
I'm shaking, boys. I'm so happy. Mate, he's, this, thing, this thing could be 20 pounds. Oh my God! What do I do? I'm gonna hold it up. This is dead set. This is dead set at 20 pounder. He is really close. I'm so happy. We're gonna let him go for you boys to catch. I don't eat, I'm not a huge fish eater, but we're gonna let it go live on Facebook right now. And we're gonna fire up half of Melbourne. You! See you brother. And it's about seven o'clock in the morning. Don't know what to expect. Anything can happen. Some days it's good, some days it's bad. It's early season. Traffic controller Izzy Sesto today, and uh, I fish with her a bit for snapper. So today we've got salmon and squid. I haven't had a lot of time to get out and go catch squid. I've just been focused on snapper and I've 18 fish this year. Most of them are panties, and um, but all the big fish, every fish, sorry, have all been caught on market squid that I've bought uh, fresh, and uh, it's good quality and. Uh, it works so i mean you should always go try and catch your fresh squid you know if you can't and you're prepared to spend some money market squid is fine if you get good stuff and no. just just head treat head it off. like a snapper till we see it you're probably right Do you take mine that? just look like oh break beat me off oh killer that's why we don't run the Lumo sleeves because we don't want to muck around with gillers and stuff. Fitting off, we just I just bring out a ton of these rigs and Izzy will just have you already tied one on? Yeah. And uh tie them back on and uh you're back in the game. You can rig them up by a bag of hooks and pre-tie them and put them on a pool noodle and so and just put them in the side of your gunnel. With the running tide, realistically, the later in the tide, the shallow you want to be. Because they're going up onto those banks to feed. And yeah. so you want to be up near where they're feeding, obviously. Um, and then, yet again, the run out tide, you want to be, they're coming off those banks into the channel, so you want to be sitting along the channel edge. To keep that in mind, instead of just going to sit on one mark all day, you've got to actually put yourself in where the fish are moving. Otherwise, you're kind of wasting your time, aren't you, Reedy? 100%. That leads me to the next thing. Do you ever sound for snapper in Western Port? Ah, uh, look, this is an argument we have. In this shallow water, no, no, no way. You're not, like, at the end of the day, these fish aren't sitting in one spot they're not they're holding traveling. they're traveling they're, they're yeah, moving so they're not holding like a lot of people say early season they're anchoring up big arches and they're dropping on them like good on them yeah. personally we don't do that early season because those fish are just cruising past like you'll find that we'll have one buckle um here to say and then we're not going to get another buckle that fish is long gone up the channel so then that's why we move up the channel so i don't personally think anchoring on snapper early season in this shallow of water is necessary but each to their own people think that works maybe we'll just stay here for a little bit because I'm getting a bite got him it's a snapper or a gummy that's, I don't know is he I reckon that's a snapper 
Oh, it's just snap at 100%. Yeah, it's <laughs> Get this other one. It's not a massive fish, but that's a snap. That's a, that's a big one, actually. So I think I'm hooked up to a snapper. We were talking about moving. I'm glad we haven't, because I reckon this is a snapper. And I feel a bit sorry for Izzy, because I've been having all the luck. Oh yeah, it's a snapper. It's a good one too. Izzy, can you get that net ready, please? This is a big fish. Did you see that? Mate, I love this. I love this, boys. He's got me in that. Right, get up in here, here's a biggie. Get up in there. How do you like that, boys? <coughs> that was wild. Oh, we need this girl to get one. She's put in so much effort. I'm over it, I don't even want it anymore. This is what early season's about, boys, is getting out. We might not catch a whole heap of fish today, but just getting out there and getting this one fish means so much to us. This is the old hunty trick, it's not my trick. Moist towel over the uh, bait just to keep it in prime condition. We've got a beautiful sun out, it's getting hot. The barometer is going through the roof right now. We've got one fish in the boat. First day of spring, <laughs> what a ripper day. Is it a lifter in her or? Yeah, swinger in. Swinger in a miss. So we're in the right area at the right part of the tide. I reckon it's, I reckon it's gonna surprise you. Yeah, oh, that's is. a good one. Hang on, is he hooked good? Get in here. Pandos. There we go. So it doesn't look good. It will look small on the GoPro, but he's a, he's definitely a snapper. He's 41 centimeters, something like that. So the curse continues, is he? <laughs> uh, she'll get one. She'll get one. That's a good sign. Now we're in, we just got one. Put some lipstick on her. Protect them lips from burning, man. Oh, this may seem a bit silly, but if you fish in the sun every day and get through summer, when you get home, just put a moisturizer on and it fixes your skin and you won't feel so um, like you've been clubbed. Be sun smart. You'll be sun smart. Well, obviously use sun cream, but when you get home, <laughs> Put a uh, moisturizer two or three times before you go to bed and I guarantee you, you'll feel a lot better. That's kind of a woman's thing, isn't it? Not really, I don't do anything. <laughs> I've got the camera on Jace, the um, GoPro. Okay. We've got pro, we've got pro ready here just on the phone. <laughs> How are you, Jace? Say hello to everyone. I reckon we Hello, everyone. <laughs> hello. All right. Hello. This is a You. Is it red? Yep. Yes, yes! The red! Oh, Reedy! Oh, Reedy, just grab him. Just grab him his hook really. Don't gaff that. Oh, mate. Drop it, drop it. Oh. Where's the bucket? He's. Oh, I'm scared, Jay. Now, this is shit. Just grab your. Grab. Grab, grab it Let me just. Hand. Nah. Let me just gaff it, man. Nah, you Here, you do it, because I'm not losing the. F got him! Got him! Got him! Woo! Yes. 
It's the way it's good getting you first, eh? Well done, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's a bell home. Oh. You bastard. <laughs> So we want to try and release him. Don't video it yet. Let me get. No, I know, but th they can see we're made, trying to make the effort. We um, keep a lot of fish over the season because it's we fish deep water. But in these um, early seasons, we fish very shallow, so we can release a few of them because they'll survive. So let's go, little guy. You ready? Go. Help! Yes, I love that. Oh, so happy! <laughs> So you've probably seen the bucket, this bucket here. This was Izzy's idea, not me. And I'm not, I'm not allowed to gaff it. I've gaffed millions of fish. I wanted to release it. <laughs> you did not. You, just, you wanted a good, she wanted a good photo. The release idea come after the fact. <laughs> she wanted, I don't gaff it because it'll stuff your photo. That's why I wasn't grabbing that because it's her first fish of the season and there was no way in hell I was losing it. I nearly lost it with a bucket. Yeah, we're gonna tell them. We're gonna tell him. Oh, Reed's had a bit of a blue. <laughs> Can you tell him, or should I tell him? <laughs> so out. I nearly knocked myself out. I left me. I had the big net up, the Shimano net up there, <laughs> and we we're driving to another spot. And the wind hit. <laughs> the winds picked the net up and nearly knocked me out. And then it's gone in the water. So good times. We're not perfect around these parts, but <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you out there. Stay awesome. We'll see you later.